Today we're going to be beating Terraria with items no one uses. All tools, armor, and accessories have to be items people would not use typically. This challenge is very opinion based as I'm going to be deciding what constitutes as being unused. For example, our starting tools, I mean everyone uses these when they play, right? So no water bolt, no rocket boots, no bee nades, no night sedge, no terra blade, no no solar eruption and guys that's not even the hardest part about this challenge the hardest part is probably the tools i can no longer use in this challenge which would force me to get real creative with some of these gearing up ideas bro yeah! stop moving yeah this challenge is gonna be a lot harder than you think and to top it off we're doing it on master mode if you don't already have a snack go ahead and get one because the video starts now the first thing we needed to do was get our tools back now that we just trashed ours so i started exploring the surface to see if there's any items i could collect I came across the umbrella pretty early on. Other than ascending down the mountain, I ended up trashing it because, I mean, who really doesn't use this when they get it, right? My journey was cut short once I got to the jungle. No, man. But then we found our first accessory. I'm putting the stool on. Our first accessory. I then decided if I couldn't find a weapon, I would just make one. We went underground looking for cobwebs, breaking them with torches. Oh, that's the mother load, baby. All right, now should be able to make a wooden yo-yo which is going to be our first weapon all right guys quick interruption in the video i feel like i have to justify every item i use so i'm gonna have quick pop-up cards explaining why i chose to use it but yeah with the yo-yo in hand we can now move on to the second phase of this challenge which is to get our tools back so the first pickaxe i'm gonna go for is the bone pickaxe oh my gosh this is gonna take forever i don't want to drown i don't know if you dropped anything i'm just gonna fall down and die okay with these bombs, I'm going to use them to blow up trees to get more wood. Because I'm not going to have an axe for a while, man. We're going to have to live at the top of a tree right now. Get back. Morning, you. I'm joking. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. The guy is getting bullied, bro. <gasps> Why? Oh, my. Whoa. This one... Ooh, a life crystal, man. Let's go. I was fighting a bat. He ended up dropping my next weapon. Oh, damn. The bat dropped two things. The chain knife. Yo. I didn't even know about this weapon. <laughs> that's an upgrade all right so for armor pre-hard mode there really only is one option it's the ancient jungle and shadow armor sets F off. so i decided to go for the ancient shadow armor yo i just boxed myself in by accident i have no tools remember this that way this that way okay no so about 100 eater souls later and we still had nothing so at the same time i went to farm for the bone pickaxe which was not an easier task not the worms not the worms i just kept flipping and flopping between the two eventually we got that stroke of luck oh we got one get another one from this dude oh my god got the full set of shadow armor with no repeats by the way just the full set i look so fucking stupid I couldn't get the bone pickaxe, so I just used the bombs I got from the skeletons and headed to the desert where I blew up fossils and extracted them, which allowed me to make the fossil pickaxe. Yes. This boy is quick, dude. All right, all we need is an axe now, and then we got all our stuff back. Like, already, man. Boom, boom. Man, look at us out here. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> now that we have a pickaxe, we can actually mine heart crystals. So I got some of those. Ooh, warding toe spikes. Thank you. But wild, everyone uses toe spikes. Shut your ass up. Don't ever say something so stupid again. All right, although this challenge is no rules based on house building, I still decided to try to make a house people wouldn't make typically. Which actually, this base is fire. I'll start doing this more often, guys. And after that, I popped a gravity potion just for fun. All right, I don't even know what this could have that I could use, but... Oh. Uh, actually, actually... All right, so now that we have a house, health, armor, and a pickaxe, we need accessories. Let's take a quick look at our current accessories. Try it. Not doing too hot. So the plan was to replace the Hermes boots in the cloud in a bottle with the shellfish boots and the tsunami in a bottle. So I made a quick house in the jungle and a wooden fishing rod, and I got to work. Iron crate! She's gone cold, I'm Anyways, we ended up getting what we were looking for. Got the tsunami in a bottle and the sailfish boots. And then I bought the squirrel hook, hooked up a quick arena, and we were ready to fight our first boss. Well, first I needed to go collect ice so I can make a secret weapon that most of you probably don't know about. The Wand of Frosting. All right, without further ado, let's go. Oh my gosh. 
get him all flamed up. Alright, let's kill all these dudes. Oh, he's turning underground. Tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> Come on, Bucko. There we go, first boss out the way. After the fight, I checked to see if there's anything we could make, but all of it is pretty often used. After the easy fight versus Eye of Cthulhu, I decided to fight King Slime. There's the big boy. The fight was pretty basic and boring. We were just way too good for this guy, honestly. Clapped him up real quick. And then we checked the loot to see if there's anything I could use in this challenge. I could use the expert mode item, Slime's become friendly. That could help me a little bit, I guess. I figured I might as well keep the boss chain going. Collected some mushrooms, made the summon, spawned him in, and he despawned. He despawned. Yeah, I took this as a sign as I wasn't ready. I decided to craft the Ebonwood Bow, which at first glance is literally the dumbest thing I could have done. However, the Eater of Worlds' biggest weakness is piercing, and we could use piercing arrows with this bow, which hypothetically should allow us to clap this guy up. You better not despawn, buddy. Ooh, but oh, bro, look at that piercing. Whoa! I thought he despawned. Um, uh, some flames in there? Look at that, baby. The wooden bow is crazy. Woo! I'm gonna flame you up, buddy. Oh, just arrow time. Bro, he's quick! Oh, you're not getting away this time, pal. Eater World's out the way. Bum, 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 boom. There we go. Definitely a great item. I don't think I could use that ever. But, what does it combine with? Because people don't... What does it combine with? It's not a material? Okay, never mind. <laughs> so I quickly started building another layer of my house. Afterwards, I added a spot to store the relics that I think looks pretty nice. Before we take on any of the next three bosses, we need to do some solid gearing up. Like my best two weapons are a frozen stick and a wooden bow. My weapons and my accessories needed to be massively upgraded, so we had to find a way to get accessories that no one used, but were still good. The first item I went for is the whoopee cushion, because you can combine that with a cloud in a bottle to get the fart in a jar, combine that with the red shiny balloon, and you got yourselves the fart in a balloon. It didn't take very long to get it. After that, we went up and got a red shiny balloon from Sky Island. Combined it those bad- Oh. Dude, we don't have the Tinkerer's Workshop thing. All right, we got to fight a goblin army. Fart in a balloon. Boom. Keep the shackle going. <laughs> the next accessory I went for is the fairy boots. You take the specter boots, combine them with the flower boots, and you get the fairy boots. Now we take off the sailfish boots. Now that we had those two accessories, I figured we were probably ready for the queen bee. I blew up a nice little area, made an arena, and uh, I was a little wrong. After fighting her for literally eight minutes straight, I literally ran out of potions twice. I had to buff twice. We ended up dying when she had 50 HP. Oh my God, bleed out. Oh my God. So I went ahead and switched to the ancient cobalt armor for the extra magic damage, and that seemed to do the job. Took her out. There we go. So the queen bee fight taught me something really important. We need better weapons. Like the, these weapons are not gonna cut it for the wall flash or Skeletron. And the way I was gonna do this is the old one's army. Bro, get up. Real lad, Joe Yang got a lot of latitans popular gobbling on a sub. Bro, what is he saying? Hey, jokes aside, I killed the cavern keep. <laughs> I killed the Tavern Keeper for his Ale Tosser. Set up minecart track so I could do ramming damage. You guys should take that real quick. I'll be right back. I'll be back for y'all. Here we go. Woo! Yo! Yo! While also using spiky balls for extra damage. Anyways, by the end, we had two new accessories, four new sentry weapons, and a mount. And unfortunately, guys, we lost all the footage for that. But not only that, we also lost the footage for the Skeletron fight. You can't tell by this uh, beautiful arena. We made the sand gun and bro the fight went the fight went amazing bro it was actually so easy if you didn't know if skeletron doesn't have a direct line of sight he won't shoot his skulls and because my sand gun covered my arena in blocks he couldn't even attack me i wish y'all could see the fight i'm sorry i got full on storage it won't happen again anyways it's about time we go get our final tool the axe Oh, 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 hey, didn't see you there. 
Anyways, I wanted the obsidian shield, but literally everyone uses it. Then I figured I might as well just use the obsidian skull and the cobalt shield separate. And just like that, we had an obsidian shield. Oh my god. If we were going to take out the wall of flesh, we needed a mine, a elevator. So I made a quick mine entrance using my amazing building skills. I started chucking my bombs down. You know, it wasn't easy, okay? Oh! But we made it to hell. Started work on a hell bridge. Went back up to the surface to collect sand as we needed ammo for our sand gun. And bro, I decimated this desert. Like, no, seriously. Like, it doesn't exist anymore. I think it's safe to say we won't run out of ammo for this fight. Anyways, I gathered up some potions, got a guide voodoo doll, and guys, I think it's important that I mention this. A lot is on the line in this fight. Not just because it's the wall of flesh, but when I use the sand gun, it fires sand onto my platform. So if I fail this fight, very quickly the entire thing will be filled with thousands of blocks of sand. So the stakes were high, it was important that I was not losing. <laughs> Anyways, I threw the doll in and the fight started. So I would like to give you guys a nice edited up like little montage of this fight, but he was hardly on my screen. I was not taking any chances, okay? I was keeping my distance, slowly trying to rain damage in from afar. My health was good, like I was chilling like this whole fight until I ran out of bridge. Platform's overrated, man. Yeah, no shot, we don't even need platforms. Oh, woo! Honestly, because we got so close, I just decided to redo the fight. No extra preparation with the sand on our platform. This time we were successful. There we go. But this was no cause for celebration. We had to go right back to the drawing board to decide how we're gonna gear up. The first thing we have to decide is what armor we're gonna use. Out of all the hard mode armor sets, I feel like these four are the most underused. So we have a few options here. And I say a few as three. I'm not using that pro stone wooden armor. Get that out of here. But these three, the desert and frozen armor sets only require titanium and a couple other ingredients. But the crystal armor, I have to beat a boss. I don't think I want to take on a boss right away so we can eliminate that armor set. Now out of these two, I feel like the one that's used less is probably the desert one. So that's what we're going to go for. Now it's probably also important that I mention this. There's no using the pawn hammer, which means no hard mode ores. So what's the plan? Fishing and more fishing more fishing a lot of fishing angler trading fishing opening crates fishing like straight up just fishing bro being attacked while fishing and we finally had a mithril anvil and enough titanium for our armor set no like i'm not even kidding this took me like five hours of straight fishing i then went to the desert waiting for a sandstorm so sand elementals would spawn and i could get the next ingredient for this armor set but little did i know this was going to be extremely annoying sand elementals have 15,000 hp in master mode and my sand gun does like 20 damage so not only was i going to be here a while i was going to create a huge mess that would force me to constantly keep moving back and forth i got pretty lucky the sand elemental got trapped at one point look at you you're stuck so i was able just to use lucy my axe and take her out still took me like four minutes ended up getting all three and making our armor set Damn. now let's take a look at the weapons i don't know guys i'm looking too good okay i don't think anyone uses the vial shard so that's an option we got spiders what are these bro you know i've never fought dread nautilus i think people usually skip him so this might be an option so those are exactly the weapons i went for i went to kill a hollowed mimic for the vial shard which I then used to fight Dread Nautilus, which was the biggest pain ever. Cause this dude would just not stop moving around, bro. You definitely don't want to use the Vial Shard versus this guy. But finally, when we killed him, we got the staff on the first try. Thank God. All right, so we should be ready for a mechanical boss now. But guys, if we can't beat them, if these weapons don't cut it, I don't know what will. I mean, the only reason I could use these is because first of all, the Vile Shard is trash and this summon staff is just oftenly skipped in progression. If we can't just destroy these dudes, I'm out of options. Fuck, damn it. So I went to improve the arena a bit, added a higher layer up top, added a house for the nurse and a honey buff. And we were ready to fight him again. So immediately I was bombarded with the lasers of the destroyer's probes. I just, I made sure to ke keep moving. I made sure to keep moving using the vial shard to try to get piercing damage on the destroyer. I had to make sure I was watching off of the head. In master mode, I think I'll take you on one shot. I got real low, having to magic mirror back to use the nurse while I literally had less than one HP. Eventually I got low again. Out of a desperate attempt, I just ran up and hid basically. And that actually seemed to work. Like, I made an important realization is that the probes aren't gonna shoot. They can't see me. I don't know why I didn't realize that before. We let our minions do some damage. I took us some probes, but I made the mistake 
mistake of leaving. I was right back to 2 HP. So I hid, prayed, and we took out the destroyer. Let's go. Now that the destroyer was beaten, I made a new house for the steampunker, which I bought a jetpack from, which is basically the only wings I could use in this challenge. But now that we had a mech boss out the way, the old one's army got an upgrade to its loot. I'm not gonna lie, the old one's army got a lot harder. It got like a fat buff. So yeah, we weren't gonna be able to do this event without upgrading to another weapon. So I made this star cannon, which I didn't even know was a weapon in the game until I gave hollowed bars to the guide. It's a great piercing weapon versus the old one's army. It just shreds through the mobs. Only it uses stars as ammo, which made it extremely annoying to use. I had to make a conveyor belt in the sky and just AFK. And we still didn't have many stars at all. We took out like two or three ogres. You got to destroy my crystal, bro. Get away from it. What the f Come here. Got him. I lost. Is Yogur dead though? I think I got him. And got the Tome of Infinite Wisdom, which is exactly what we needed for the twins. The green needs getting attacked first. And the jetpack is fire, bro. This is so underrated. You can hold up on it. Woo! Oh, my conveyor belt. Bro, I think I'm literally colorblind because I've been going for the red one and the green one. All right, Greenie's going to pop. He's popping. I am not near my arena. I am not near my arena. After being the twins, it really just wasn't an upgrade for me to make. So we just went right on to fighting Skeletron Prime. Now... Normally at this point, I would go get a Chlorophyte, but because we're doing this stupid challenge, of course I can't use the pick saw. Everyone uses the pick saw. Come on. Should have seen it coming. So, I mean, the gear we have now is going to have to carry us through Plantera, I think. Yeah, this is actually me from the future. I've already been to the jungle. L let me show you how that went. And it'll probably also explain this, um, this random part of my house that looks a little weird. Well, first we bought bombs from the the drug dealer found a nice crispy spot in the jungle and started blowing up a hole which will later turn into our arena for plantera of course the jungle is just a straight massacre i did die a few times yeah we we're just buying dynamite blowing up stuff buying more dynamite blowing up stuff and i ended up going to buy more dynamite and i had the dynamite in my hand Don't be afraid. and you know see how that went wait what the f in honor of this challenge i wanted to do something people don't normally do so i patched up my house with different blocks that was totally why i wasn't lazy this was part of the challenge just 100 part of the challenge i just want to make sure i'm completing the challenge to its fullest capacity you get what i'm saying anyways we had a large area bombed out dude i was bombing bombing and we just set up a couple rows of platforms got some campfires on there and of course we were collecting life fruit as we passed by it we were gonna need all the life fruit we could get if we were gonna beat plantera this wasn't gonna be easy oh and by the way the reason i'm doing this type of arena is because i have the jetpack which allows you to accelerate upwards if you hold up so i just thought maybe that could help me out a little bit all right with the arena basically done it is time to go on a life fruit expedition bro i died to a fish oh i drowned all right this micro chart gotta lead gotta lead to good stuff Ooh, first one thank you oh wait yo another all right hey come here i know you want me All right, so we managed to get a whopping 13 life fruit. Not bad, honestly. Although I probably died as much as I collected them. All right, just go ahead and chomp on these boys for a bit. Ah, there we go. We are closing in on max HP. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest, prepare for Plantera in any way I can, and then I'll meet you guys at the arena. After searching for about 50 minutes, we found a bulb. Yeah, we got some potions. Got a whole bunch of potions. Because this is master mode, I might be screwed. I might not be able to take her out with this weapon. And if I can't, bro, I don't know if there's another upgrade for me. Like, I might just be screwed. So this fight gotta go well. We'll see. I can always make improvements to the arena if it doesn't. Buff up. Boom. Oh, her claw bruise, bro. She's already here. Woo. All right, we gotta make it to the arena. First step, we need to spawn our minions in. All right, all five, boom. 
Oh, yo, she taking damage, though. I know you don't like that damage, buddy. We're fine on HP, kind of. Also, we should probably get these buffs. I believe I could fly. Bro, I am straight floating, bro. I believe I could touch the sky. All right, all right, go up. She about to change. Our right, second stage is looking easier. We just can't die. All right, second stage. Ooh. All right, she. I think she's done shooting at me, though, so I can just... Slowly fly up. He can't hit me. So we gotta go back down. That's the problem. Bro, this is low-key so easy. As long as we can go back down. Okay, yeah. This is where we need to go back down. Ooh! Yo, I just juked her out. Ooh! Ankles are gone. Why is she going so quick? Bro, this was so easy. <laughs> and Plantera's out the way. Mastermind Plantera. Literally easiest fight of my life. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm thinking because Plantera's gone, Golem's gonna be a little bit harder. We're gonna need more of a piercing weapon, I think, to hit multiple parts. Yeah, but now that the hard mode dungeon is unlocked, uh, we should be able to get some weapons or accessories from here. I don't have any in mind right now, but we'll see what happens. Also, I think I'm gonna put the spore sack on. This thing kind of sucks, but it's actually kind of good. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Take off the tsunami in a bottle. Yo, Bone Lee, bro, relax. I know he dropped some accessories I might be able to use. Why am I using this crummy weapon? Get out of here. Thank you. Diabolus. Damn, bro. Teleporting. Oh, damn. Also, it doesn't matter what class uh, the weapon I get is from because I have a way to get any sort of... We still haven't got the mech? Help me. Sorry, buddy been down here all this time yeah i have a way to get armor for any sort of class that is not used often show you guys that later if i need to okay black belt hmm oh that's a that's a paladin bro this weapon is actually insane people need to start using this like this is master mode i don't think he could drop anything i could use but you know and hopefully you guys don't mind that we're like slowing down for a little bit. You guys are seeing a little bit more. I'm not cutting as much. I feel like hard mode, we just, we've been going too quick. The mechanical bosses, we just kind of, you know, zoom through them. We got another yo-yo. Yo, these Plantera Spore things are actually pretty fire. Like, look, just, let's just see them in, in action. For after playing like this, I feel like I'm going to discover so many underrated things that I'm going to start using. Yo, he dropped three things. That's like a one in a million type of chance, I feel like. Yo, that's crazy. Can we, can we grab those? Oh, we got them. All right, so obviously with this stuff, we can make the Master Ninja gear. And I want to say that people don't use it, but I think people do use it, unfortunately. But I feel like if people are going to use the Tabby, they might as well just make the Master Ninja gear. Meaning that the Tabby and the Black Belt themselves are possibly underused. I'm not sure. All right, guys, I'm about to bleed out. But I'm thinking I haven't got anything crazy from this place yet. Where's my magic mirror? Okay. I think we're just gonna try Gollum. Because why farm for a better weapon if I could just kill him now? You know what I'm saying? If we can't beat him, we'll have to return there. But for the Lunatic Cultist, I think I know a weapon I want. And it is from the dungeon. So we'll have to go back there anyways. Go ahead and pop that bad boy open. I have a calming potion active, so this should be just pretty easy. Oh! That's some Indiana Jones shit. You know, this calming potion's really going to work right now. I, uh, I really appreciate it, you know. Get some lights in here. All right, now we just gotta craft up a quick arena. Uh, all right, and I think we're ready. I'm gonna start with the star cannon. All right. We are not ranger class, unfortunately, so this is kind of weird. I didn't know I needed that much. Why are the spiky ball traps going off? Oh, bro, I gotta break that pressure plate. Okay. Come on. He needs to turn quick, bro. Alright, there we go. Ow. I can't be getting hit. He's so close, bro. Please. And... There we go. Sheesh. 
next thing we did was kill Queen Slime because we were after the Viatol Gelatin, which is going to allow us to do a little bit extra damage. It's really not good, but yet again, I still have a Tsunami and a bottle equipped. So I don't think it hurts to get that extra damage real fast. Queen Slime was actually surprisingly annoying, but of course we took her out. We're overgeared. After that, I went back to the dungeon to get the weapon I wanted for the Occultist fight, but the footage got corrupt. As you can see, it's just black for some reason. So just know we went on a journey, all right? We went on a journey for that. The weapon we got was the sniper rifle and we got the rifle scope as an accessory. The plan was to bring this back to BO2 and just hit some trick shots, hopefully. Cheese some bosses. That's the plan. Then I bought the ranger set from the tavern keeper, which increases our sentries. So I've never used the sniper scope before. Whoa. So I was just kind of messing around with it before the fight. I accidentally started popping some of the, the cultist dudes. I'd... <laughs> I decided to put them out of their misery, and then their gang leader appeared. Fight went smooth. I was keeping my distance, oh, yeah. trying to use the scope a little bit. It was a lot harder than I thought. Whoa, 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 the scope. I, don't I guarantee I was hitting every shot, though. I mean, I couldn't tell. The dragon got to be the most annoying part about this fight. 100%. Woo, dragon. Anytime he was gone, the fight was pretty easy. And of course, upon the dragon him, the four lunar okay. pillars entered my world. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a problem. We're kind of... Yeah, and now there are some things I want to do before Moon Lord. So I wasn't going to kill all the pillars yet. I decided to take three of them out so that when we want to fight Moon Lord, we just got to take one out. Damn, bro, already? Come on, man. Damn. Who are y'all shooting at? I'll take both of you on right now. Fight. Boom, pop you. Do some damage. Multiply. Yo, the scope is goaded. Hey, hey. Oh, what I get hit with? Ooh. Bro, not again. I think we're fine. Oh, look at that damage, baby. Okay. Run! All right, so first, I'm gonna use this little fossil pickaxe to uh to break this here. Bro, I, st I still can't believe we only got a fossil pickaxe right now. Because I want to make a shrine for the Moon Lord statue uh, once I get it, hopefully. So let's quickly do that. Go ahead and thicken these bad boys up. Bro, look at my little spore things just chilling around me while I'm building. Speaking of spore, do you guys know about that game? I made videos on it before on my channel. Don't watch those. Like, seriously. Yeah, let me know if you guys would watch me play, like, other stuff. If you like me in my editing, and not just the fact that I'm doing a Terraria challenge. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, bro, does that look good? What does this look like? It is perfect chopping weather, isn't it? I think we need to, re we need to remove this. Alright, that's a lot better, I think. Look at this bad boy. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. That's pretty sick. So the gear we use to fight Moon Lord is going to go right here with the armor. And then all the other stuff is going to go in that chest. And then, of course, the Moon Lord relic is going to go right where I'm standing. We got the crafting station for all the stuff. Got the little torches, Moon Lord colors, you know. And maybe I should, like, I don't know, put these here. And put the sniper scope in there and the sniper rifle. Oops. Because we're not going to be beating Moon Lord with this gear, guys. We're going to get a different weapon for Moon Lord. As for what weapon that is... No, it's not that. We actually, um, I made a poll on YouTube. And we're going to go check that out right now. So in the poll, I said, what's the most underused and underrated weapon that could be used to kill Moon Lord? I need this information for a challenge video. If I use your weapon, I'll use your comment in the video. The little picture of Baby Yoda. The first person says a sniper rifle. I mean, we could. We got someone saying things from the post-Plantera dungeon mostly which is facts. Ever saw anyone use the horseman's blade or the flying dragon? And now this person sets up interesting stuff. Shinobi pure summoning with lightning aura. <laughs> I don't even know what the, I don't know what that means. He also says some other stuff about the other sets, being able to take out the eye before it even closes. Crazy stuff. Multiple people recommending stuff from the old one's army. Empress of light weapons. Uh, we got some people that they didn't really understand what I was asking. Lawnmower, legendary copper short sword. Um, those are some good suggestions. And if I want to do the most upvoted comment, this person said the tin ax. As you can see, I didn't even like their comment that it like, that's just not what I'm looking for. I had multiple people say the candy corn rifle and I've never even used that weapon. So that's tempting. But the old ones army stuff is also really tempting. Like, I don't know anything about this and it'd be cool to see how it works. So what if we just did both of those things? So yeah, of course, the, the candy corn rifle drops from the pumpkin moon. So we had to do that. We had to get to wave 10, which I've never done without traps from the dungeon. I had to take out many, many pumpkins. Please drop your little rifle, sir. If you don't mind, if you don't mind. 
make sure you go ahead and eat this for me. Will you drop it? There's another one. Okay. I think after like six or seven, we finally got it. Beep, 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 beep. Then I bought the explosive trap staff from the tavern keeper. I then measured some things out and made an arena that would hopefully work for the fight. And the last thing we had to do was destroy the final pillar to spawn in Moon Lord. So the plan for this fight was to All use right. the explosive traps to try to take out the top eye while I used the candy corn rifle to damage the side hands. That way we could take out all the eyes as quick as possible. Right, candy corn rifle. But we had one major problem. The Moon Lord just wouldn't stand still. I kept getting knocked around because I didn't have a cobalt shield anymore, which made it very hard to center the Moon Lord on my traps. When Moon Lord shot his laser, I had to fly up around him, using the jetpack's vertical momentum and the tabby to try to avoid this laser. Alright, jetpack saving lives. I even tried using the shadow beam staff to ricochet off and hit both hands at once for extra damage. Eventually, Moon Lord's eye finally popped. Alright, middle eye's down. But that made the fight way harder, and I could no longer stand still. I had to start flying around, now that there were more projectiles, just trying to take up the hands as fast as possible. <laughs> now that all the eyes were destroyed, we just needed to kill Moon Lord's heart. The plan was to use my explosive traps with the candy corn rifle to do as much damage as possible. I even tried building to block the lasers, which kind of worked, but I could not stand still. I was getting way too low. Not really knowing what was happening, I went to my mind and just jumped down. I swear it was not planned, but being able to fall why. actually did help me avoid damage. He was so close to dying, but I was 1 HP, and I thought I was dead. Putting the stool on. My first accessory. Oh, that's the mother load, baby. We're gonna have to live at the top of a tree right now. Yo, I just boxed myself in by accident. Hospital later. Have a drink. Cigarette. Cup of coffee. Back in the game. Help him! No. Don't take damage. Let's go! Bro. 